You want to know how to play FIFA? Well, have I got the strategy for you. Now, FIFA 14 is completely different to FIFA 13 in many aspects. I wouldn't say I'm a good FIFA player. I'm a half decent FIFA player. However, that is because I don't acquire the first P, which is patience. So you really need patience in FIFA 14 as it is a more slow moving game, it's less hero like and more realistic, you can't really just run it down the line with Walker anymore, this does make the game much more strategic guys. And with patience, the first thing that I would absolutely recommend is never to press R1 when you're defending, that makes the other player come towards the attacking player and try to get the ball off him without your control. Now this was used a lot in FIFA 13 and it does still work in FIFA 14. However, it does make your players out of position and that could easily make you concede. Another thing guys is to just wait for the player to make a mistake. The best thing to do is always take your players back, especially when the opponent's got the ball in your half. Another thing guys is to never slide tackle unless it's absolutely necessary and that's what we're going to get into the next P with predictions. In FIFA 14 guys, the shots have been upgraded tremendously. You can do a shot from about 40 yards and it could go in. And this means that you must always predict when the opponent is going to take a shot. And that's the time that you can slide tackle. Usually when you're giving the opponent quite a bit of space, that is when they're going to take a nice long shot. So basically guys, try to close them down, try to jockey them and always block their sight of goal. If you are lacking this for a couple of seconds, if you're giving him a bit of space, that is when it's vital to go in with a slide tackle and that's the only situation that you should ever slide tackle in. Another thing that you must, must take into consideration guys, is to close down the opponent's options. Now to do this, you must predict who the player is going to pass to and therefore to do that, you need to have an open view of the field and look around, always spotting out the opponent's options. Also, if you have spotted out an option that you do think he's going to pass to, use those prediction skills to put your player in the way and intercept them. The last two P's are passing and possession. The passing in this game, guys, is much more precise and this means that your skills come into it. The long balls that you pass will go to the strikers. It's absolutely fun to have a nice through ball and it always goes to the strikers. It feels much more better in this game. If you consistently pass it around the field, find gaps, you will find yourself scoring much more goals. One thing that is really, really common with people is that they pass it when they don't actually see who they're going to pass it to. What I mean by this is say you have the ball in your defense and then you want to pass it to a midfielder, you can't actually see the midfielder on the screen but they just pass it up the field and hopefully get to someone. Now this causes the interceptions of the opponent to come in play and that means that you'll lose possession of the ball. Possession is vital in this game guys and basically it is vital in any FIFA game. What I recommend you do is when a defender is coming at you, say he's about 1 meter in FIFA distance in front of you, just pass the ball and do not be afraid to pass it back. That is what makes a lot of goals occur. Another thing guys is to always take long shots. Make sure you're smashing those long shots at the goal because the shots in this game are so powerful that you should at least get a corner from a long shot. So the last last P guys is to pay the ref.